Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. Now this video is going to be a short one. So this is about what's called the OBS replay buffer. This is something that I really enjoy and I actually have used before. Now what this basically is, is this is GeForce Experience, but for everyone. Now I actually take out GeForce Experience on my NVIDIA drivers because I hate it. I don't like NVIDIA tracking me and I don't like the little bit of performance that you lose. So I use OBS replay buffer. Now what this really is good for is you can choose when you want your clips to be recorded. There's other alternatives to this, but this is the best option in my opinion. Because hey, you can choose what your quality is, and you can even choose if you want stuff in it. So for example, we're going to open up OBS Studio, and as you can see, I was actually, this is from my single PC streaming video. So you see you have this, you can have output, replay buffer. Just make sure that's enabled, and you can hit 60 seconds. If you want, you can set it for as long as you want. I think you can set it for like infinity. Well, I think that's the most that you can set it for. But at the same time, that's using 60 gigabytes. So do, don't want to do that. Say the max you'd want maybe is like 300, which is five minutes. But that uses almost two gigs. So we're just going to keep it at 60 for this video. So just hit apply. Now this will use your recording settings. So obviously change these as you need to. Wait. All right, I was just making sure. I forgot how to count my zero. So we're going to do that. Now, just make sure all you have to do, super difficult, kidding, super easy. You can just hit start replay buffer. Then you can either hit save replay and it'll save to wherever you save it to. So for me, videos, you see, and it'll name it as a replay. Now, I also have it set as my F8 button. So, and now if I check, there should be another one, which is perfect. Now, there is actually a couple little settings in this one. So you can automatically start replay buffer with streaming. This will mean that as long as you are streaming, you will be having your replay buffer. And let's say you want to play for a little bit after, you can keep that on. I don't do that because normally I only want my clips when I'm doing a replay buffer. And now you can also have it set to minimize the system tray when started. Now we're actually going to have a little amazing little trick for you guys and I will put this command in the description so we're just gonna hit yes now you're going to make a shortcut of your OBS and where it's installed so you're gonna hit Windows key and E go into where it is mine's in my program files and just do OBS studio bin 64 bit OBS 64 create shortcut now you can just drop this onto your desktop and all you'll need to do is hit properties Go to where the target is. You're going to hit there. You're going to hit a space and then do dash, dash, start, replay, buffer. So just hit apply, hit OK. Now do this. And it will start your replay buffer. Now, one thing that I think could be really cool is you can actually create different versions. So, like, let's say you use Streamlabs OBS and you want all your nice alerts and stuff in there. But in this one, you just want your game. So that's actually what I'd recommend. For this, just having your game capture in here. So that this can be just for streaming. So you can have that. So you can actually have two open. So just hit launch anyway. And then you can do that. Now, a little trick that I would recommend also is downloading the portable version of OBS. And making that your replay buffer. So that can make it so that you can have two completely different versions of OBS on your PC doing two different things and anyways just this is a cool trip a cool trick that i found something that i recommend for you guys so if you guys have enjoyed this video hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new follow me on my other socials my instagram my twitter my twitch and yes i'll see you guys later for the next video see you guys later